Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Automotive here today with a video on fault code 219A, symptoms, causes, and diagnostics. DTC 219A indicates an air fuel ratio imbalance on bank one. So essentially means that your air fuel ratios are incorrect or out of spec on bank one on the engine. This is a generic code. So that could actually be referring to either air fuel ratios being too lean or potentially too rich. You will almost always get another fault code associated with 219A. It's very rare to get this code alone, especially because there's also more generic fault codes that point to specifically whether the engine is running lean or running rich. So that would be P0171 in the case of the engine running too lean or P0172 in the case of the engine running too rich. And a lot of the times you will get a more specific code potentially pointing to another underlying issue. So just wanted to point that out at the start of this video. Just diagnosing the issues based on this code is is very challenging. But with that said, moving into some of the most common symptoms of 219A, this can vary a little bit depending on whether the engine is running lean or rich, but there is a lot of overlap here in potential symptoms. That often includes rough idle, poor performance, stuttering, hesitation, power loss, engine misfires, and potentially either hard starts or a crank and no start at all. So the exact severity will depend on whether the engine is running lean or rich and how far out of spec that parameter actually is. For example, if the engine is running very lean, it's possible you could start running into things like stalling if the engine simply isn't getting enough fuel. Or on the other hand, if the engine is running very rich, you might notice poor fuel economy and some other symptoms there. There is generally some overlap in those symptoms. Now with that said, moving on to some common causes of 219A. Once again, this is going to be a pretty lengthy list and essentially anything that could interrupt airflow or fuel fuel flow and put either of those out of spec can essentially trigger fault code 219A and cause the engine to run either too lean or too rich. So some of the most common causes here are going to include things like a faulty or dirty mass airflow sensor, faulty O2 or oxygen sensors, exhaust leaks, issues with the PCV or positive crankcase ventilation system, potentially issues with the EGR system, as well as really anything that can disrupt fuel flow. So for example, example, low fuel pressure that could be leaking injectors, clogged injectors, clogged fuel filter, issues with the fuel pump itself, potentially a fuel leak, and then a few other basic things to look for would be any visible damage or issues with the intake tract, any potential blockages or loose connections there, as well as vacuum leaks, and then potentially any electrical or sensor issues. So again, that's a long list and I didn't even cover every potential problem there, but moving on to diagnostic, of course, this is going to be challenging if you don't have any other fault codes present, but in almost all cases, when you receive 219A, you should have some other fault codes stored. So make sure you double check those. And if you can find a more specific code, it's possible it's unrelated, but a lot of the times that will help point you in the right direction, especially if you go back and double check the codes and see that you have 219A alongside potentially some sort of other code indicating, for example, low fuel pressure. Obviously that helps point you towards the fuel system. If you aren't getting anything helpful there, this can be challenging to diagnose, but as always, moving on to the next step, start with the very basic, start with the, the most simple things you can think of. For example, is the gas cap on the vehicle and is it screwed on tightly? Do you see any potential fuel leaks or other leaks underneath the vehicle? Look for any visibly damaged connectors, sensors, anything that could be loose or blocking something. If everything checks out there, then it's kind of time to start doing different diagnostics depending on what you might think the issue is. So that would include things like testing the fuel pressure, testing any of the sensors and electrical wiring for things like the mass airflow sensor and the O2 sensors, as well as testing the vacuum lines for any potential leaks. And again, there's a lot more you could do in a lot of different directions. It really just depends on the history of the vehicle, what additional codes you're getting, what is most common on the vehicle that you own and are looking into 219A for. For example, 
example, some engines in cars are simply more prone to certain issues like clogged or leaking fuel injectors or whatever else it may be. And sometimes just knowing the common problems on your engine can help guide you in the right direction if you aren't getting anything else to go off of. Anyway, guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more in the future. Thanks, everyone.